Okay, so for application seven, I basically came up with uh, this. This thing right here, a little percussive instrument. You know, I basically took some wood, sawed it, and you know, nailed some things together and made this. It basically stands up a like counter corner if you lay it on the floor or on a desk. Um, you can even lay it on top of a little miniature table in front of you. So, I mean, basically, my idea was with this was maybe to use it like on a, for instance, a stroke victim, okay? So, basically, a couple of things you can do. Um, keep everything, you know, DIY. I made this out of a, clo a, a coat hanger, so. <laughs> um, basically, one of the things we can do is we can conduct one, two, three, four, and give cues on one day which numbers to hit. So, like I say, given the, given the expectation, we're going to hit the th one and the three, okay? So, one, two, three, four, or the two and the four. One, two, three, four. Four, we do all four. One, two, three, four, so on and so forth. We want to use actual percussive instruments. We can do that as well. I mean, when if we're trying to use, I mean, this is basically learn, helping us learn to use our arms. Um, particularly if you have one arm that's not working, like after you had a stroke, one arm, one side of your body is not working, is having to regain that that um mus muscles. Um, to be able to work. Um, so simple as that. I mean, and you can also you can use two sticks to coordinate them to the two arms, even though one arm's weaker than the other one. You're basically trying to get a groove and uh, make sure you're. It, it just takes. It's a therapeutic process that it takes time to get and to get everything back into shape. This is probably not something that would help overnight, obviously. But I mean, after I feel like after a few weeks, maybe months, you can see progress in their ability to move arms. Their arms. Um, you can one, two, three, four, and you're, there's all kinds of combinations you can use, and you don't even have to really use instruments. I mean, depending on the severity of the of of the stroke, I mean, they might not be able to do much other than maybe just move their hand. One, three, four, and or maybe just you know, but it just takes time. Something, but that was basically my idea. Um, for my adaptive instrument. Also, you can, it doesn't have to be just conducting. That was my first initial thought. You can also, I guess we could do, we could do, we could do some music with it too, of course. Um, this we are music therapist, not conducting therapist, but conducting is a part of that. But we could, you know, um, song has been in my head all day. I'm the beast. One, two, three, four. This is one, four. One, two, three, 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 four. Idea. So all kinds of combinations you can use. So that was my idea for that. I mean, so basically there's all kinds of combinations you can use. I don't know what I would call this thing. I mean, there's a, you know, call it, I don't know, I don't know, wicker doodle or whatever. <laughs> uh, but that's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to go with. I kind of want to, I mean, I painted the outside. I, I went and bought this, uh, these uh, numbers just to, to glue on here. I want to kind of like varnish it maybe and and do different colors too. Maybe that could be helpful as well. You know, using colors. I mean, I, I don't know. Any feedback would be great on on um, some adjustments. But, um, but yeah, um, just just my thoughts. But yeah, that's what my dad's instrument is. So yeah.